he's asking about the past of the band, mm. uh, about the good old days. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what is the story you tell him about the singer of Queen to to make him understand his position? I don't think there's one story, but we we talk a lot about stuff. You know, we talk about. I think we're kind of quite grown up about it. You know, because we actually do talk concepts now. You know, and what the function of the stage show is. You know, what the function of the lights and the sound, the shape of the stage, the the set list, the shape. You know. Um, in a kind of way which is always new, you know, so I, I think the essential thing about Adam is it's not a museum, you know, he's not stepping into a museum, he's in a place it's where he can it. create with us, right. same as Freddie did, you know, mm. he can create mm. with us. You mentioned the word concept. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't believe that you would quit Queen because, to to me, when I look at you, it means the band is not how you make living. The band is you. The, mm -hmm. This this is how you live. This is what we discovered. I think. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it for you? What is at stake now? When, when you're playing with Queen, what is at stake? Where is the risk for you in it? Oh. Or is there anything at stake? You're just doing what you please? Well, do. I guess there is nothing to prove, but there is every possibility of failing at every point, you know, and that's why it's good, that's why it's exciting, that's why it's dangerous. We're one of the very few groups you could go out and see in an arena who don't play to clicks, don't play to backing tracks, you know, don't have stuff on tape or whatever. It's live, completely, and dangerous, and different mm -hmm. every time you come and see us. And I think that's what people like. So yes, there is every chance of falling every time, every minute, you know, there's no safety net. But we have a kind of, I think we have a good attitude, you know, we're kind of forgiving of ourselves and of each other, which perhaps we weren't in the old days, you know, we have much more of a sense of humor. So if something goes on, uh, perfect, then wonderful. If something goes wrong, you just kind of laugh and go, oh, that went wrong, okay, let's do this. <laughs> and it's okay because I think we understand now that what we are is okay. Mm -hmm. And the audience like us because of that. They don't want to see perfection. They want to see us out there taking some kind of risk and giving them something which Nobody else ever had. Is it because you don't have to prove who you are, mm. because you are who you are? I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to prove, really. There's just trying to make the best of what you have, you know. And what you have is never perfect. It, it cannot be. So you have to be proud of what you can bring to it and enjoy it, I think. And if you enjoy it, then people who are watching you tend to enjoy it because they relax, they realise you're at, at ease. Very rarely I use uh, the word legend, but it suits for the band, uh, for Queen. It's it's the good old days we imagined the rock and roll was, like Led Zeppelin and Queen, like big stadiums, big sound. Do you do you sometimes look back and say uh, it was an extraordinary uh, time I had, and perhaps you talk to those people who were in rock and roll with you at the time? Yeah, I do, but I think if you're aware and you're functioning, now is the good old days as well, you know, like in Roger's songs, you know, these are the days of our lives, really. Hey, hey, hey. 